Anybody nervous? <laughs> Who is certain their team's going to win? Everyone. All right, we got to get some more trophies. All righty. Um, before I read the rules, I, I'm going to go around and ask each team um, to tell me your name, each team member, excuse me, tell me your name and your favorite book. Okay, so we'll start right here with Brumfield and we'll go right around the table. working. Elizabeth Ott. My favorite book is Out of My Mind. Nicholas Timmons. My favorite book is Out of My Mind. Haley Strong. My favorite book was The Lightning Thief. Anna Wright. My favorite book was The Search for One. Thank you. Coleman? Book is Crispin. My favorite book was The Search for Wonderland. My name is Audrey Fisher, and my favorite book was Countdown. My name is Meredith Whalen. My favorite book was Star in the Forest. I'm Reese Dunville, and my favorite book is Silverwing. Great, thank you. Greenville. My name is Abby Bolton. My favorite book is The Search for Wandla. My name is Pierce Lou. My favorite book was Floors. My name is Matt. My name is Matthew Schumacher, and my favorite book is Lion Boy. My name is Johnny Atuni, and my favorite book was Capture the Flag. My name is Ashley Hume, and my favorite book was Out of My Mind. Great, thank you. Highland School. My name is Alexis Conley, and my favorite book was Mission Unstoppable. My name is Marley Orr, and my favorite book was Honus and Me. My name is Zachary Herzog, and my favorite book was Countdown. My name is Ellie Soames, and I liked all the books. My name is Katie Leak, and I liked Out of My Mind. Great, thank you. Grace Miller. My name is Grace Poyum, and I liked Out of My Mind. My name is Abby Keller, and I like Out of My Mind. My name is Kim McMorrow. My favorite book was The Search for Wadma. My name is Brady Hanley, and I liked Wild Wings. Great, thank you, Grace Miller. H. A. H. M. Pearson. My name is Jacob Laws, and I like floors. My name is Riley Hines, and my favorite book is Counting on Grace. My name is Hunter Humphreys, and my favorite book is Rowan a Friend. My name is Bradley Reed, and my favorite book was Floors. My name is Paige Shorey, and my favorite book was The Search for Wamla. Great, thank you. Pierce. Hi, my name is Cole Gamble, and my favorite book was Out of My Mind. My name is... <laughs> My name's Allie Wright, and my favorite book is Out of My Mind. My name's Elizabeth Lee, and my favorite book was Wild Wings. My name is, my name is Jade White, and my favorite book was Out of My Mind. My name is Joshua Kwan, and my favorite book is Floors. Thank you, Pierce. Richie. And my favorite book was uh, Capture the Flag. I'm Noelle Wise, and my favorite book was The Search for One Block. Hello, my name is William Sanziano, and my favorite book was Lion Boy. My name is Kirsten Johannesson, and my favorite book was Out of My Mind. My name is Carly Wood, and my favorite book was Ginger Snap. Great. Thank you, Richie. Smith. My name is Dylan Taylor, and my favorite book was Crisp in the Cross the Lid. I'm Cheyenne Vino, and my favorite book was Ginger Snap. I'm Helena Birch, and my favorite book was Counting on Grace. I'm Kiana Salcedo, my favorite book is Silverwing. I'm Dean Cole, my favorite book was Silverwing. Great, thank you, Smith. Claude Thompson. My name is Amanda DeBerry, and my favorite book was The Gallery Walker Games. My name is Trinity Wimpy, and my favorite book was The London Eye Mystery. My name is Abby Turner, and my favorite book was Counting on Grace. My name is Rajiv Salonki. My favorite book was The Lightning Thief. <coughs> Great, thank you, Claude Thompson. Wakefield School. My name is Bobby Gidding. My favorite book was um, Mission Unstoppable. My name is Gwen Major, and my favorite book was Percy Jackson and The Lightning Thief. My name is Clay Salo. My favorite book was Mission Unstoppable. My name is Brooke Ballhouse, and my favorite book was Wild Wings. My name is Justin Kim, and my favorite book is Warren of Wind. 
Great. Thank you, Wakefield. Mary Walter. Hi, my name is Liam Bezier, and my favorite um, book is The Lightning Thief. My name is David Calderon, and my favorite book was Countdown. My name is Turner Day, and my favorite book was Floors. My name is Lisa Eanes, and my favorite book is Counting on Grace. My name is Taylor Sherry, and my favorite book is Silverwing. Great. Thank you. Bradley. My name is Kennedy Kolar, and my favorite book was Ginger Snap. My name is Kaylee Schuller, and my favorite book was Night Nightmare at the Book Fair. My name is Nathaniel Rivera, and I like the, the Search for Wandla. My name is Lou Kersey, and my favorite book was Floors. My name is Mary Grace Reichel, and my favorite book was Wild Wings. Right, good job. Thank you all very much. All right, let's, go th let's go over the rules. First, there'll be 10 rounds. Each team will be asked one question per round. The questions for round two, four, six, and eight will be quotes from books. The team will have 30 seconds in which to answer the question. And at the end of 30 seconds, the moderator will say, time is up, we need an answer. The answer must be given immediately to be accepted. The team captain is authorized to give the answer following consultation with team members. The team captain may ask the moderator to, re to repeat the question one time. Each school has, a chance, has the chance to have three out of their ten questions repeated. The stopwatch will be stopped while the question is repeated, then restarted. The team will be given a total of 30 seconds to give the correct answer. To be considered correct, the full title of the book must be provided. Subtitles are not required. The author of the book is not required. If an answer differ, differs from the answer on the moderator's question and answer sheet, the judge will determine if the answer given is correct. If a question is missed, it will, be, it will not be passed on to the next team. Each team will, be, will receive a new question. One point will be given for each correct answer. Partial points will not be awarded. If there is a tie at the end of the 10 rounds, there will be up to three tiebreaker rounds. Each team will be given the same question to answer and answers will be written. The team will have one minute in which to write the answer to the question. A team is immediately eliminated during the tiebreaker round if it does not give the correct answer. If after three rounds the tie is not broken, a tie will be declared. The audience is asked to hold applause until after each round. The score will be announced after round five, round ten, and if necessary, after any tie-breaking rounds. Good sportsmanship is expected. It is not appropriate to cheer when a team gives an incorrect answer. And finally, a traveling plaque will be engraved with the name of the winning school and housed at that school until the final meet the following year. Are there any questions about any of the rules that I've just read? All right, let's get started. We're going to start here and we'll move left to right and at the end of the round, We'll go back to this, this end and start over at that, at the, uh, with the same school. Brumfield, are you ready? Yeah. All right. First question. In what book do mysterious messages appear on a wall, as if being written by a finger on the other side? Floors. That is correct. Coleman. In which book do you read about, a gi about giant demons crouching silently, spikes on their backs, with open, dripping draw jaws and huge eyes, but still unmoving and not alive? Search for Wandla? That is incorrect. The answer is Silverwing. Greenville. In which book does a character donate a bike to help save a life of another character? Mm 
May you repeat the question? Yes, sir. In which book does a character donate a bike to help save a life of another character? Wild Wings. That's correct. Highland School. What book has a chapter titles has chapter titles like We Visit the Garden Gnome Emporium and We Shop for Waterbeds? The Lightning Thief? That's correct. Grace Miller. In what book does a main character compare people's actions and expressions to weather? The London Eye Mystery. That's correct. Pearson. <clears throat> in which book are cinnamon rolls prepared in the hope that the smell will help a house sell? Everything on a waffle. That's correct. Pierce. In which book do chocolate covered cashews remind a character of baby toes? Everything on a waffle? That's correct. Richie. In which book does a man collect the information about owning of a building? Can you please repeat the question? Yes. In which book does a man collect information about the owner of a building? Floors? That's correct. Smith. In which book does a character carry Tootsie Rolls in the band of his hat and offer them as a treat? Capture the flag. That's correct. Claude Thompson. In which book does a character have a tattoo of a curled up black snake that looks ready to strike? Could you please repeat the question? Yes. In which book does a character have a tattoo of a curled up black snake that looks ready to strike? Capture the flag. That's correct. Wakefield. In which book is a family embarrassed by their uncle's bizarre behavior as he believes he is still a member of the military? Counting on grace. Can you repeat that, please? Counting on grace. No, that's incorrect. The answer is countdown. Mary Walter. In which book is a girl suffering from a broken clavicle, a concussion, and is grounded for trying to rescue a friend? Out of my mind? No, that's incorrect. The correct answer is also countdown. Bradley. In which book does a young girl think that finding a lost animal will help her dad? Let me repeat that. In which book does a young girl think that finding a lost animal will help her dad? Star in the forest. That's correct. And that is the end of round one. All right, we'll start right back here with Brumfield, and um, these, these questions will be in the form of quotes.
Brumfield. <clears throat> a character describes her mother's attempt to read a book in the following way, quote, she studies over them under the kerosene lamp like she's figuring out some map to somewhere new. Name the book from which that quote is taken. County on Grace. That's correct. Coleman. In what book does a character say, a code disguises words or phrases, a cipher disguises single letters? Mission Unstoppable. That's correct. Greenville. In what book does an old character say, quote, we should be very upset indeed. We should be raging and roaring and plotting and scheming and escaping. Countdown. That is incorrect. The answer is Lion Boy. Highland. In which book would you read the following? Quote, if I, if I have made the wrong, excuse me, if I have made the wrong choice, tell me now. But as long as I am chief elder, I will never bargain a life, no matter how terrible the consequences. Silverwing? That's correct. Grace Miller. In which book does someone say, quote, it's a disgusting habit setting fires to leaves and sucking them down our throat. Didn't want to be responsible for kids doing that. Honus and me. That's correct. Pearson. In what book does a man write, nothing ever seems to get done to solve these problems? Our society is overwhelmed by the complexity of our situation. The problems are simply too complicated and entrenched for the current generation of leaders. They're paralyzed. It's time to start over with children. The Genius Files Mission Unstoppable. Mission Unstoppable, that's correct. Pierce. In which book would you find this quote? Now the shoe is on the other foot, eh? You know, you guys just rubbed me the wrong way. You've gotten too big for your britches. Repeat, please. Yes. In which book would you find this quote? Now the shoe is on the other foot, eh? You know, you guys just rubbed me the wrong way. You've gotten too big for your britches. Mission Unstoppable? No, it's, it's incorrect. It's Nightmare at the Book Fair. Richie, in which book would you read the following? Quote, I blinked a few times and then I saw him, the evil kidnapper, looming over us, holding a pointy tipped cane over his head. Time. I need an answer, please. Line boy? No, the correct answer is star in the forest. Smith. In which book would you read the following? Quote, it was hard work being their friend. It made me feel like a nervous squirrel, always with my big eyes and my ears perked up.
repeat the question? Yes. In which book would you read the following? It was, it was hard work being their friend. It made me feel like a nervous squirrel, always with my big eyes and my ears perked up. Wild Wings? No, the correct answer is Star in the Forest. Claude Thompson. In which book would you read, quote, you are the one, they sang, the one who risked your life to save us, save one of us, the one who would treat us as your equal. Lion Boy. No, I'm sorry, the correct answer is search for Wandla. Wakefield. This quote is taken from a character in which book? Quote, one who does not drink or eat, who tells the other what she must eat and drink, curiouser and curiouser. Please repeat the question. Yes. This quote is taken from a character in which book? One who does not drink or eat, who tells the other what she must eat and drink. Curiouser and curiouser. The search for Wandla? That is correct. Mary Walter. In which book would you read the following? My dad still curses your dad every day because he can't remember all of those passwords every time he needs to get into his computer stuff. The Golly Whopper Games? That is correct. And Bradley. In which book would you read the following? It could knock you down hard or throw you against a tree or a wall. It's such a big explosion, it can smash in buildings and knock down signboards over and break windows all over town. The search for one blah? No, that's incorrect. The correct answer is countdown. That's the end of round two. All right, Brumfield. In which book do colorful pennants blowing in the breeze make a boy think, think the town had long hair? Can you please repeat the question? Yes. In which book do colorful pennants blowing in the breeze make a, bo a boy think the town had long hair? Time is up, we need an answer. Crispin? That's correct. <laughs> Coleman. <clears throat> in which book does a bus break down in front of a fruit stand where three old ladies are knitting giant socks? The Lightning Thief? That's correct. Okay, here we go, guys. Greenville. In which book does someone tell a shop owner that they have come to steal wood?
Ginger Snap. That's correct. Highland School. In which book do some of the characters wear silver jewelry in the shape of an ancient jaguar goddess? Capture the flag. That's correct. Grace Miller. In which book are someone's sweaters given to Goodwill? Everything on a waffle. That's correct. Pearson. In which book does a character catch fish with bare hands? Wild Wings. That's correct. Pierce. In which book does a character's dream come true by trading places with someone else? The London Eye Mystery? Can you repeat that, please? The London Eye Mystery? No, that's incorrect. It's Honus and Me. Richie. In which book is a map followed successfully, even though it was never written on paper? Silverwing? That's correct. Smith. In which book does a character telegraph people and things, her thoughts, in order to make them do as she wishes? Can you repeat the question? Yes. In which book does a character telegraph people and things her thoughts in order to make them do as she wishes? The Lightning Thief? No, that's incorrect. It's Countdown. Claude Thompson. In what book is a page that was ripped out of a phone book I'm going to start over. In what book is a page that was ripped out of a phone book important? The London Eye Mystery. That's correct. Wakefield. In which book does a pig insist that he is dead? Lion Boy? That's correct. Mary Walter. In which book is a mirror used to provide an escape from spiders? Road of Wren. That's correct. Bradley. In what in what book do characters use a fire extinguisher as a battering ram? Mission Unstoppable. That's correct. Good job. All right, I can feel the tension in here, so we need to cut the tension with a little uh, spring break humor. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ether. Ether. Ether Bunny. <laughs> Do you feel less tense now? Brumfield. These are quotes now. In which book do we read, do we read, quote,
quote, some places were known only to the few, the proud, the maintenance men. Floors? That's correct. Coleman. In which book would this passage be found? Quote, the weather since Christmas has been weird, like the sea and the sky are fighting. The Lightning Thief. That's correct. Greenville. In which book would this passage be found? Quote, I, who had never really had to make important choices about anything, now I had to decide everything for myself. Ginger snap? No, I'm sorry, the correct answer is Crispin. Highland School. In which book does someone state, quote, the candy tastes better when it comes out of Mr. Spock's neck, unquote? Could you please repeat the question? Absolutely. In what book does someone state, quote, the candy tastes better when it comes out of Mr. Spock's neck? Time is up, we need an answer. Ginger snap? No, I'm sorry, the correct answer is Mission Unstoppable. Grace Miller. In which book do we read, quote, the war ended on a hot sunny day in August. Kids banged pots and pans on Carey Street, church bells peeled, and fire engines changed, changed, excuse me, clanged their horns. Ginger snap. That's correct. Pearson. In which book would you read the following? The fat lady hasn't started singing yet. Capture the flag. That's correct. M.M. Pierce. In which book does someone say, kid, I'll tell you what no one Let's start over. Kid, I'll tell you what no one in this town can forgive, and that's your mother's loved, and that your mother loved your father enough to follow him. Everything on a waffle? That's correct. Richie, in what book would you read? The neon sign above the gate was impossible for me to read. Because if there's anything worse for my dyslexia than regular English, it's red cursive neon English. The lightning thief? That's correct. Smith. <clears throat> In which book does a man tell a gathered crowd, quote, he never gave up? He would not give up. The smallest and weakest among us proved the strongest and bravest in the end. We owe him a great debt. Rowan of Wren. That is correct. Claude Thompson. In which book do we read, How stupid to be a small boy, powerless against these grown-up things. How stupid that stupid grown-ups should have all the power. When they do stupid things like take, someone, take somebody just because They've thought up something really clever.
Could you please repeat the question? Absolutely. In which book do we read, How stupid to be a small boy, powerless against these grown-up things. How stupid that stupid grown-ups should have all the power when they do stupid things like take somebody just because they've thought of something really clever. Lion boy. That's correct. Wakefield. In which book would you read the following? All he had to do was type his answer. Then bells would chime and alarms would ring and the heavens would open and shine on him. The Gollywopple games. That's correct. Mary Walter. <clears throat> In which book would this passage be found? It, it, is it a ring of rooms or a room of rings? I think it must be both at once. How odd. Floors. That's correct. Bradley. In which book would you find the following pass passage? I feel like Christopher, Christopher Columbus bumping into America. It has been there all the time. But he was the first one from, this, from his world to find it. I wonder if his heart had beat as fast as mine. The search for Wandla? No, I'm sorry. The correct answer is out of my mind. All right, that's the end of round four, correct? Right? All right, Brumfield, back to Brumfield. A necklace doubles as a map in what book? Can you please repeat the question? Yes. A necklace doubles as a map in what book? Time is up. We need an answer. Round of rain. No, I'm sorry. The answer is search for Wundla. Coleman. In what book does a circle within a circle change an enemy's mind? Could you please repeat the question? Yes. In what book does a circle within a circle change an enemy's mind? Time is up. We need an answer. To search for one block? That's correct. Greenville. <clears throat> the school secretary has lots of unpleasant jobs, like giving dogs haircuts in what book? Nightmare at the Book Fair. That's correct. Highland School. In which book is the setting in America? but the main characters still cling to their French-Canadian heritage. Counting on Grace? That's correct. Grace Miller. In which book did characters reminisce over old photos of their grandfathers? Wild Wings. That's correct. Pearson. 
In which book does someone save a companion's life by walling in a cave with snow? Rowan of Rin. That's correct. Pierce. In which book does a pink poodle provide funds for three friends to buy train tickets? Time is up. We need an answer. Um, the lightning thief? That's correct. Richie, in which book does a young girl have to help her parents with things like reading and asking questions in the store when they are shopping? Counting on Grace? No, I'm sorry. The correct answer is Star in the Forest. Smith. In which book would you read about the characters being able to hear each other's thoughts? The Search for One's Law. That's correct. Claude Thompson. In which book did the main character's mom shave a design of two crocodiles with one belly, set like an X and a Dinka symbol? Lion Boy. That's correct. Wakefield School. Cats are deemed better than people in what book? Nightmare at the Book Fair? That's correct. Mary Walter. In what book is something extremely valuable torn into four pieces, making it worthless? <coughs> Wild Wings? No, I'm sorry. The answer is Honus and Me. Bradley. In which book does a key get stuck in the lock of a hope chest while two girls are trying to read letters that don't belong to them? Countdown. That's correct. That is the end of round five. All right, uh, scores after five rounds. Brumfield four, Coleman four, Greenville three, Highland four, Grace Miller five, Pearson five, Pierce three, Ritchie three, Smith three, Thompson four, Wakefield four, Mary Walter three, 
and Bradley, three. All right, Brumfield. In which book does someone warn, quote, pay heed, a bear has two natures, sweet and gentle? If he becomes irritated, he turns into a vicious brute. So I beg you to consider the two sides of my nature. Crispin. That's correct. Coleman. A crazy person rationalizes his ideas like this in what book? When a car breaks down, we can simply order a new part to fix it. Presumably, we can just keep replacing parts as they wear out, and the car will run indefinitely. Why can't we do the same with human beings? Nightmare at the Book Fair. That's correct. Greenville. In which book do we find this passage? You can shovel me into the hospital and you can call me crazy. But we would be better off if we had a bomb shelter on this property. Countdown. That's correct. Thanks. Highland. In which book would you find the following passage? Nothing prepared me for seeing her right in front of me. It was as if the locks and the mountains and the sky were folded deep inside of her. And if she was a small piece of this vast landscape, and none of it could exist without her. Wild wings? That's correct. Grace Miller. <clears throat> In which book does a voice say, you can't imagine what's in store for you, but at least I'll be there helping you find what you need. Ginger snap. That's correct. Pearson. In which book would you find the following passage? It will be better for the rest of them when I'm gone. Life will ease along without so much trouble. And there and now and now there will only be four around the table looking to eat. Counting on Grace? That's correct. Pierce. In which book would you read the following? It was the same world he'd always beheld his whole life at night, but now, under the sun's glow, it was transformed. Silverwing? That's correct. Richie, in which, in which book does the main character exclaim, this is how having a funny brain that runs on a different operating system from other people's helped me figure out what had happened? The London Eye Mystery? That's correct. P.B. Smith, in which book would you find the following passage? People are like rivers. That's what I think. You've got to learn to look beneath the surface to see what lies deeper in. Wild wings. That's correct. Claude Thompson. In which book does a man terrify his captors by repeatedly muttering, you stupid little irritating men, you're, becoming, you're beginning to annoy me in his, na in his native tongue? Lion boy. That's correct. Wakefield. In which book would you find the following quote? I am sick and tired of wanting 
more for your children than you people want for them yourselves. I'm done. May you please repeat the question? Absolutely. In which book would you find the following quote? I am sick and tired of wanting more for your children than you people want for them yourselves. I'm done. Counting on grace? That's correct. Mary Walter. In which book does a prophecy begin? Seven hearts the journey make, seven ways the heart will break. Bravest heart will carry on when sleep is death and hope is gone. Rowan of Wren? That's correct. And Bradley. In what book do we read? At school they call me a neek. It's a cross between a nerd and a geek. They don't like me because I only, I only talk big. I'm trying to learn to talk small, but it's hard. London Eye Mystery? That is correct. All right, that's end of round six. All right, Brumfield. In which book is it difficult to run a business because there is a shortage of butter, eggs, and sugar? Ginger Snap. That's correct. Coleman. In which book does music make a character hear colors and smell images? Out of my mind. That's correct. Greenville. In which book does a boy drink something that tastes like chocolate chip cookies? The Lightning Thief. That's correct. Highland. Children go grease skating in which book? Counting on Grace. That's correct. Okay. Miller. In which book does the main character's father give the advice to, quote, throw away the garbage and go have fun? The Golly Whopper Games. That's correct. Pearson. In what book is a gross name suggested for a rock band? Nightmare at the Book Fair. That's correct. Pierce, in which book do two characters have the exact same wound due to similar accidents? No, I'm sorry, the answer is Star in the Forest. Richie. In which book was a boy late because he had to cut grass? The Golly Whopper Games. That's correct. Smith. A deal is sealed with saliva and a handshake in what book?
Time is up. We need an answer. Floors. No, I'm sorry. The correct answer is wild wings. Claude Thompson. Space travel is compared to playing football in what book? Nightmare at the Book Fair. That's correct. Wakefield. In which book does a character think that her teacher has been making her write with the wrong hand ever since she first began writing? Counting on Grace. That's correct. Mary Walter. In what book does the main character, as well as the other characters, doubt his ability to save the village? Run of Wren. That's correct. Bradley. In what book does a character remember that if you extend your arms and legs, you will soar like a hawk? Mission Unstoppable. That's correct. It's the end of round six. <laughs> end of round seven. Thank you. All right, Brumfield. In which book does a character say the whole fence has come down? We'll have to begin again. We can always do that. Ginger Snap. That's correct. Coleman. In which book would you read the following? You'd think with the amount of dismembering going on, there'd be gallons of it smeared all over her little pink dress. Could you please repeat the question? Sure. In which book would you read the following? You'd think with this amount of dismembering going on, there'd be gallons of it smeared all over her little pink dress. Time is up. We need an answer. Countdown. No, I'm sorry. The correct answer is the Golly Whopper games. Greenville. In which book would you read the following? It could be destroyed very easily if not kept under certain atmospheric condition. Time is important. Can you repeat the question? Yes. In which book would you read the following? It could be destroyed very easily if not kept under certain atmospheric conditions. Time is important. Time is up. We need an answer. The search for Wanla? No, I'm sorry. The answer is capture the flag. Highland School. In what book, in which book would you read the quote, I'll teach you as much as I know, the juggling, singing, and dance, the music making. I'll be your teacher, not your master. Crispin? That is correct. No, what? Grace Miller. In which book would you find the following passage? It's like somebody gave me a puzzle, but I don't have the box with the picture on it. So I don't know what the final thing is supposed to look like. I'm not even sure I have all the pieces. Can you please repeat the question? Yes. In which book would you find the following passage? It's like someone gave me a puzzle, but I don't have the box with the picture on it. 
so I don't know what the final thing is supposed to look like. I'm not even sure I have all the pieces. Capture the flag. No, I'm sorry, the correct answer is out of my mind. Pearson. Okay, we're down one. In which book does a character say, I was supposed to hold on to this half of the picture until we saw each other again. I waited and waited, but he never came back. Honestly? me? That's correct. Pierce. In which book would this passage be found? But if you recognize yourself in these pages, if you feel something stirring inside, stop reading immediately. You might be one of us. The Lightning Thief? That's correct. Richie. In which book does a character whose job is, quote, keeping company and making conversations, unquote, go from being an interesting companion to an annoying chatterbox? Floors? That's correct. P.B. Smith. In which book would you read the following? Jump ropes lie abandoned on the pavement. The jungle gym is empty. And we are, every one of us, as still as stones. Countdown. That's correct. Claude Thompson. In which book would you read the following? The security system was designed to keep people out, not in. Capture the flag. That's correct. Wakefield. In which book would you read, quote, Mom hates it when her hair gets wet. It gets stringy and limp. I got to admit, Mom with your hair, Mom with wet hair should hide in the closet. Time is up, we need an answer. Countdown. No, I'm sorry, the correct answer is out of my mind. Mary Walter. In what book would you read, her beard was beautifully soft and silky, like a very young goat's ears on the curls between a calf's horns. Lion Boy. Lion Boy is correct. In which book would you read the following? There were fewer insects here, and those he'd caught had a nasty taste, sooty and unfamiliar. The search for Wandla? No, I'm sorry, the answer is Silverwing. Right, that's the end of round eight. Brumfield. In what book does a starving boy find a rabbit dinner a feast? It being more meat than he'd ever had at one time in his life. Crispin. That's correct. Coleman. 
In which book does a person discover the initials ML gouged into a wooden stair banister? Ginger Snap? That's correct. Greenville. In which book does a girl name her puppy after her favorite cookie? Everything on a waffle? That's correct. Highland. In which book does a character say she has magic thumbs that work work perfectly? Out of my mind? That's correct. Grace Miller. In which book are there rumors of bad things happening to creatures who are marked? Silverwing. That's correct. Pearson. In which book is a locket passed on many times in love and friendship? Wadwings? That's correct. Pierce. In what book does someone have an aunt come to visit who is described as a hurricane, a handful, and larger than life? The London Eye Mystery? That's correct. Richie. In which book are Earth's inhabitants warned about global warming? Can you please repeat the question? Absolutely. In which book are Earth's inhabitants warned about global warming? Nightmare at the Book Fair? That's correct. Smith. In which book is a trap is a trap door the key to rescuing some poor creatures? Search for one block. No, I'm sorry. The correct answer is Lion Boy. Claude Thompson. In which book is a character described as a mad old hag and spinner of children's nightmares and cure of pains in the belly? Rona Wren. That's correct. Wakefield. In which book did a character work harder in school because she did not want to be a maid and wash clothes for two dollars a day? Please repeat the question. Yes. In which book did a character work harder in school because she did not want to be a maid and wash clothes for two dollars a day? Time is up. We need an answer. Counting on, guys. No, I'm sorry. The correct answer is Star in the Forest. Mary Walter. In which book can a character pull water from the air, yet has never felt rain? The Search for a Wanderla? That's correct. And Bradley. In which book are pearls used as a means of escape?
The Lightning Thief. That's correct. That's the end of round nine. All right, Brumfield. In which book are characters given a desk with a pen, a pad of paper, and a gadget that looks like a calculator? Golly Whopper Games. That's correct. Coleman. In which book did the main character wonder if the bendy man hadn't had his skeleton surgically removed and was held together inside with bits of elastic? Lion Boy? That's correct. Greenville. In which book does Melted Ice take a man and a boy home? Rowan of Wren. That's correct. Highland. In which book do two boys find a very small letter and need a magnifying glass to read the message? Floors. That's correct. Grace Miller. In what book was a character taught through cartoon pictures a five point code to reading people's faces? The London Eye Mystery. That's correct. Pearson. In which book does a boy climb to a second story balcony by wedging himself between two buildings? Crisp and the Cross of Blood. That's correct. Pierce. In which book does someone sign an autograph using someone else's name? Honest and me? That's correct. Richie. In which book does a character keep a sketch pad in which he illustrates figures of speech like killing time and I'm at the end of my rope? Can you please repeat the question? Absolutely. In which book does a character keep a sketch pad in which he illustrates figures of speech like killing time and I'm at the end of my rope? Capture the flag. That's correct. P.B. Smith. In which book does a character pat his right shoulder with his left hand as a signal to meet? Time is up. We need an answer. Crisp in the crust of wood. No, I'm sorry. The answer is Honus and me. Claude Thompson. In what book does the main character hold conversations with old clothes and toys? Search for one the. That's correct. Wakefield School. In what book does a broken promise to stay put nearly, put nearly cost a boy his life? Let me repeat that. 
In what book does a broken promise to stay put nearly cost a boy his life? Crispin. That's correct. Mary Walter. In which book does someone use a magnifying glass to read a word on an old black and white photograph? Counting on grace. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, the correct answer is Ginger Snap. And Bradley. In what book do characters think a paper left on their windshield is a ticket when it actually turns out to be some kind of message? Mission Unstoppable. That's correct. That's the end of round 10. Okay, I'm going to read the results. We have a, a two-way tie for third place between Coleman and Richie. So congratulations to those two schools. We have a four-way tie for second between Brumfield, Highland, Grace Miller, and Claude Thompson. And we have a 2014 Battle of the Books champion, H.M. Pearson Elementary School. Congratulations. I want to thank all the parents, teachers, family members in, in attendance, principals, uh, the judges, thank you all very much. But most importantly, I want to thank all of you particip for participating. You did an outstanding job. Enjoy your spring break. Congratulations. Yeah.